especially new people, show up to my neck of the woods and they're wondering, what specifically can I do to improve my life? They're not looking for crazy academic theory about some esoteric German existentialism or to soothe their ego on the philosophy born out of the nihilism between some of the deadliest wars in human history. They're not, they're not looking to soothe their egos by reveling in the worst that women have to offer getting their comeuppance, or how to rank individual men as either gods or floor mats. They're looking for concrete help. Advice they can implement today to make their lives a little bit better. Focus on yourself, now, today. Focus on yourself second, and third, and fourth. In fact, worry about women seventh. So what are the first six things you want to worry about? Well first, join a gym. Or start going if you already joined but don't go regular. Or go back if you used to work out and stopped. Make time for it. Every day. Or every other day if you have things to do. If you want to get a foundation going, look up strong list 5x5 five five or something comparable to just do it. Cardio, you can throw that in in between if you're going every day. This is your time. Don't talk to girls, don't talk to guys, don't waste your gym hour on Twitter, just work out. And yet, it sucks at first, but after a while, you start to like it. Now here's the key. It doesn't matter if you get stronger or look better after your month. Like you will, but it doesn't matter. It's the way you carry yourself, the, the way you carry yourself improves. It improves in a way that it, you won't notice, but other people will. I mean, your posture improves, your mood improves, your aesthetics improve. I could talk about all these little things that get better, but we don't have all day. People in general look for patterns, and you start to have the same patterns in how you carry yourself as attractive people do. I mean, you should, because you're becoming attractive. Second, eat well, get enough sleep. Staying up till 4 a.m. drinking beer or smoking weed is fine when you're 19 and in college studying for an exam, but you're a real person now. You're a grown boy, Mr. Geppetto. And you wake up at 5, 6 a.m. to work out. So eat real food. That's not bars, that's not shakes. Cut out on soft drinks and energy drinks and all that other crap. Limit your alcohol to social drinking. In fact, I like the Christmas party rule. That's drink one, sip two, hold three. Learn to cook and buy actual food from an actual grocery store. Don't fall for that superfood GMO nonsense. If it grows and it doesn't come in a box, a bag, or a can, you're going to be fine. If you're out of ideas, I have a decently growing catalog of videos coming out that'll really help you get started. Make sure you sleep eight to nine hours a night. You've got nothing to prove to anybody by staying up until midnight. If you have a job, a workout regimen, and a life to live, a lack of sleep hinders all of that and it makes you a less efficient and less attractive human being. You got a crappy schedule, go to sleep when you can, but wake up when it's nice, bright, and early. Now that first day is really gonna suck, but I guarantee you, you will go to sleep at a decent hour that night. If you don't have something that excites you and gets you up in the morning, it's where you put those little workouts, bucko. Third, get a job if you don't have one. Get a good job if you already have a job. Get ahead at your job if you already have a good one of those. Talk to everybody you know. Get hooked up at places you would never have thought to approach. Networking is the best way to get a job, and having a steady income affects the way you walk, the way you talk, and at very least, you're moving forward. Sure beats the hell out of sitting in your cubicle wasting away. Now even if you don't notice this, others will. In fact, it's not even just about a job. Start a business if you want. Get a part-time job doing something cool, even if you're in school. Moonlight at a nightclub. They always need porters, bouncers, bartenders, an Uber driver, a waiter. 
some of the best fun you're going to have is after hours working these little part-time gigs. Fourth, talk to strangers all the time. Are you in a line somewhere, a coffee shop, student union at your university? Are you on the street or in a building or at the gym or anywhere else where other people exist and aren't busy? Just chat with strangers. You're not trying to make a best friend or get a date. You're just chatting with people, chatting with men, chatting with women. 30, 60 second stops, maybe 10 people a day. Most of this is going to go nowhere and it's going to be super awkward. But maybe, just maybe, you meet somebody who can add to your network and maybe you can contact them later. More importantly though, you get over that inherent fear of rejection that we all have. You talk to strangers without caring what they say or what they think. It's awkward and it's stupid and it sucks and you'll look dumb and have nothing to talk about. But six months from now, you're going to realize that you're actually pretty good at talking to people. I mean, strangers are as afraid of you as you are of them and you develop a knack for getting other people to start seeking your approval rather than being the validation seeking one. And this creates a positive feedback loop. You start meeting women, you start having more confidence at job interviews and business functions, social events, everywhere. You can't, you just can't help but be more charismatic. And fifth, join something. Hobby group, learn to play the guitar in a group, martial art lessons, something that interests you that's not related to your income. I mean, you need things to do besides work, cook, eat, and sleep. Otherwise, you're just boring. Be interested in something and look into it. Cooking, making soap, playing in a band, going to the shooting range, I don't care. But if you're human, you've at least been somewhat interested in a lot of things over the years. So pick something, look into it. You're not going to live forever, you know. Sixth, learn game. Now, what is game? Game is the difference between being just friends and being friends with benefits. It doesn't matter how fit, doesn't matter how healthy, doesn't matter how successful, doesn't matter how social and how interesting you are. Women and sex is something different from all of that. If you don't know how to talk to girls in a sexual way, you're going to die a rich, super hot, very interesting virgin who studies philosophy in your spare time. You have to learn how to treat women like anybody else. You've got to be outcome independent, talk subtly, talk sexually, handle human touch in a non-awkward way, and escalate the situation so it's a pleasant experience for the both of you. This is a learned skill. It's not something that just happens. At least not naturally the way women tell you what it does. It just happens for women. For you, it's practiced. And making this happen is something very different from everything else in this list. If you have everything else without game, you're not going to get anywhere. And if you have game without all those other things, it's going to make your life a lot harder than it needs to be. And then finally, the reason you guys all came here, seventh, women. Women don't matter if you haven't done the first six. And even then, that's on them to show you they matter. You can be happy and successful just doing the first six and forgetting all about women, but that's the key. If you're not happy, why does anyone want to join you on your journey? I mean, would you want to spend all your time with this miserable person? Would you want to spend your time with a person who doesn't even care about themselves? Probably not. Key point here, let them show you that they are worth coming into your life, whether it be for a night, weekend, or a lifetime. It's on them to show you that they can be just as valuable as the other six things in your life. I mean, you're physically fit. You're just confident in the direction your gym routine is heading. You're healthy. You're well rested. You have enough value to society at large to pull an income out of it. Probably professionally successful. You're socially adept. You have some cool hobbies and interests. And decently good about talking your way into a girl's pants or at least not immediately getting blown off when you ask a girl how she's doing. You've somehow, through hard work and smart dedication, you've managed to stumble into the top 30% of men. 
Now, if you can treat women like talking to strangers, chat with them like everybody else in a non-awkward way, you're already leagues beyond the average guy who doesn't even have the strength to walk up and talk. And when he does, it's damned awkward. You've managed to stumble in the top 25% of men. Now you're being subtly sexual, escalating via touch. That puts you up in the top 20% of men. And then by not caring whether you're turned down or not, and moving on to the next girl, like the one who just took a dump on your approach, doesn't count, puts you in the top 15. Being fit, successful, socially adept, and interesting, the top of good game, you've stumbled into the top 10%. Top 10% gets a girl every weekend. Maybe not every single girl they approach, but by the end of the night, you'll have a friend with benefits. Maybe two. I mean, this comes after months, maybe even years of hard work becoming worth a damn. The key though, is to be happy without women. If you're fit, successful, socially adept, and in possession of useful, interesting skills and hobbies, you should be able to have a decent life without women. And women would rather line up to be on the gravy side dish of your awesome life than the main course of a loser. As always, I want to give a heartfelt shout out to all the guys on my Patreon. Go check it out, links in the description. I give these guys some advanced content, access to all the back library, and just generally whenever I can show them some love, I do so. Also, feel free to come on Saturdays, 9 to 10 a.m., where I'm with Carl from Black Label Logic, and we talk about all kinds of sexual strategies on Red Morning. Afterwards, you can always check out the Red Man Group, where I'm with Rolo Tomasi, Donovan, Carl, and myself, plus who knows who else. We usually go on that Saturday, starting at 11. And then finally, I also have a link in the description for my consulting service. So for guys who are in a marriage where perhaps they haven't had the sex life that they thought they would, or are in the process of possibly in a real rough patch that may end in divorce, or even just a guy in a long-term relationship that wants to make sure he leads with the best foot forward for the longest, happiest life he can, the link to both of those are in the description. And with that, thanks for listening, guys. Catch you next time.